Hi everyone! Welcome to Rock and Roll Storytime. My name is Miss Jenny and I am very excited to have you here today. We are going to start with our hello song. So I'm going to grab my ukulele and we are going to start. everyone. So I played that with my ukulele and that is spelled U-K-U-L-E-L-E -E -L -E, and that comes from Hawaii and it has four strings and it is one of my favorite instruments and there are a lot of cool instruments just like the ones around me. So I brought a bunch for you guys to learn about today. We have our bass guitar right here. This has four strings. If you can hear it, it's really hard to hear because it's really low and it has this nice beat that goes with everything. So I'm going to put that down. We also have some djembes here. So I have a small one and it sounds like this. And then I also have a big one and I had a special guest record something for me. This is the really big one and it's really heavy and I have to lift it. Here it is. So my special friend is going to show you what it sounds like. I have a mandolin and that's used in bluegrass a lot. So it is this one right here. This is what it looks like. And here is what it sounds like. just a regular guitar. This is a parlor guitar that is slightly smaller than the regular size guitar. So it's good for taking with you and traveling and just saving space. And it sounds a little bit higher, but plays the same as a regular guitar. And this is what that one sounds like. the story of rock and roll and there are a bunch of instruments in it just like these so here's the cover we've got David Bowie and I think that's Slash and I'm not sure who that is but we're gonna find that out there's an old song that says blues music has a soul then the blues had a baby and they called it rock and roll can everyone make this? This is what you do when you're rocking. Chuck Berry came along with a guitar and made it sing. Then Elvis Presley shook things up and the people crowned him king. And that's Elvis Presley. And it looks like he's doing, I think the song Jailhouse Rock. 
and this one's Chuck Berry, and he's playing this guitar right here, this red one. Bob Dylan gave us poetry, the Rolling Stones brought style, and then with Beatlemania, rock made the world go wild. So here is the Beatles, these four right here, one, two, three, and four. This is Bob Dylan, and these are the Rolling Stones right here, and they're all rock bands. In the long summer of love, Janis Joplin's voice rang loud. The Who smashed their instruments. The dead jammed for the crowd. So Janis Joplin, she played her voice, so she sang. I love singing. Do you guys love singing? Then we have the Who, and they, they smashed their instruments, which it's not good. Don't smash your instruments, but they did for their crowd. And then we have the dead right here. This is that, that band right here, these people. In 69 at Woodstock, hippies gathered all around. Hendrick, Hendrix wailed on his guitar. It was such an awesome sound. So here's Hendrix right here, and he's just playing his guitar. Aerosmith dreamed on while Zeppelin played full blast. The Ramones played punk rock really really fast. AC DC wore school uniforms while playing back in black. Scaramouche sang Queen as they brought opera back. Queen is a band and they their lead singer wanted to put opera in their music and it was just game changing and it was super cool. David Bowie sang Let's Dance. Oh, the man knew how to dress. Tina Turner ruled the 80s. Her voice was simply the best. That reference. She has a song called Simply the Best, and it's really, really popular and really, really good. 80s rock had big screams and even bigger hair. So they had really huge hair, and they shook it around. Can you shake your hair? Just shake it like this. Slash couldn't see his guitar. Bon Jovi was living on a prayer. That's a song that he, he sang too, living on a prayer. Pearl Jam and Nirvana rocked with the lights out. In Seattle, grunge was born, then ska fused with rock, no doubt. No doubt is Gwen Stefani and the band that she was in when ska music came out. Weezer dressed like but Holly, and their cruises were a ball, and who knew the White Stripes weren't brother and sister after all. They looked really, really similar, but they weren't actually brother and sister. They just look like, look at their hair, and then their lips, and then their outfits. Now some people say that rock is dead, most grades are in the sky, but the real truth is that rock and roll will never, ever die. The end. That was a really awesome story, and I loved learning about music, and that was a lot of facts just all in one little book, and if you want to learn more, you just got to go search for it. We probably have a lot of books at the library about all the different things about music. But right now I have a lot of energy and I'm sure you do too. So let's get some energy out. And so we are going to do something that goes along with rock music and just music in general, which is dancing. We're gonna have a quick little dance party. So get up. Okay, everyone's up and ready. One, two, three, start dancing. <laughs>
job, everyone. Did everyone have lots of fun? Get a lot of energy out. Awesome. Let's sit back down. One, two, three. That was super fun. Can I share a book? Who was that? I'm over here. Where are you? Right here. Whoa.